Yes, sir. I'll have that waiting for you when you arrive. 20 minutes? Yes, sir. <laughs> Enzo, big Susie with goat cheese. 20 minutes. Mmm, perfect pairing. Hello. I'm a new guy. Uh, my name? Here. Table 12. Okay. I've read a lot about antisocial behavior, lacking empathy, contemptuous of the feelings of others. Yeah. Yeah, they're irritable, they act impulsively without thinking. But what if the person is a loner? You know, just a loner. I mean, antisocial people may harm others while loners, you know? They just want to be left alone, you know? An article I read did note, though, that loners may not reject human interaction, you know, all the time. A great example of that would be someone who, you know, shuns social interaction with colleagues, you know, beyond what's necessary for the job. But maybe they're more charismatic, you know, at parties with people outside of work, you know? Are you like that? What is the matter with you? Not only is Frank a top wine critic, he's a nice guy. Sorry, I was just making conversation. Oh, just deliver the food to the table. That's it. Jeez. Yeah, I told your mom I'd give you a shot. You just gotta do your job. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Take the food to the table. I'll let you down. Could I have a box? I'd like to take some home. Sure. A little something for later? <laughs> uh, it's for my dad. He didn't want to come out? He's not feeling well. Oh. What's he got? Well, actually, he's in hospice. He doesn't have long. No. Oh. Sorry. You know, I just read this excellent article about, like, uploading your consciousness to a computer after you die. Like, creating a whole new digital life for yourself up inside the cloud. You know, never having to worry about, like, getting old or sick or anything like that. Fact of the matter is, though, computer speed just isn't there yet, you know? So technically, we're still talking about science fiction. We're using Moore's law? Probably not realistic until, like, 2045, maybe? But my question is, would you still really be you, you know? Like, does your, does your physical self determine your conscious self? Like, your, your meanness, as it were, you know? More Cabernet. On the house, miss. Look, I think you're a nice guy. But you just talk too much. Yeah, oral fixation. Shut up! Just, just oh. Hmm, perfect pairing. One moment, please. Look, like I said, I told your mom I'd give you a shot here. I want your mom to be happy. But you're bothering the customers! If you don't shut up and just deliver the food to the table, I'm gonna have to fire you. You, you understand, right? All right. Last chance. Try hard. Go. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. May I help you? I just think that, um, I don't know how to say this really, but I think we're, we're in two different places in life. I don't think we have really that strong of a connection. Uh, Wait. You know what I mean? And we're just not... Uh, Are you breaking up with me? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, 
sorry to do it like this. I just. But I. Uh, I'm. I'm so sorry. I. I just don't see this. This going anywhere. I'm sorry. What's wrong with me? Can I get you some more wine? No, thanks. I really like that guy. Why doesn't he like me? I thought this was special. Let me get you a fresh napkin. Can I answer her? What have I told you? You start and then you can't stop. Then you get all weird, you know that, right? I've heard that. All right, listen. As long as you promise not to go crazy, you can answer her questions, okay? That's it. What could I have done wrong? Well, I mean, I don't really know you. Maybe he has a fear of commitment. You know that's possible? I just read an article that... <clears throat> it's very common, I've read. I wonder why some people feel as if they're trapped when it comes to relationships. The idea of settling down can be scary, I guess. I mean, it can be, to some. The fear of losing options. It could be if he's in a relationship, he thinks he's missing out on something better. Or maybe he thinks he'd be making the wrong decision. Now, that being said, I've read that men who can't commit have trouble making other major decisions, so this could be a good thing, I guess. I've read in numerous articles that fear of commitment has always been thought of as a guy thing. A woman can be afraid to commit too, you know. Not me, of course. But why are most of us so afraid to get involved in a serious relationship or take the next steps? Maybe deep down, maybe he feared being rejected himself. Seems a recipe for a lonely life, don't you think? Oh, maybe he wanted an open relationship. I think it's time for me to uh, get back to work. Oh, I understand. No, 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 things are slowing down. Stay, chat with your new friend. <laughs> Anyways, open relationships. I personally am not into that. I insist on monogamy. I wouldn't fault a couple that are into that, though. You know, open relationships may cause all sorts of problems. I mean, if you don't feel bonded to a single individual, then what's the difference between that and playing the field with your married partner being one of numerous conquests? There are all sorts of open relationships. Multi-partner, hybrid, and of course the swingers. I don't see where you find the time, though. Time management. That alone can contribute to the success or failure of an open relationship. And then, of course, who's attracted to the open relationship lifestyle? A 1974 study showed that male students live in a communal group are more likely to become involved in open relationships than females. Yeah, that could be the problem. Then again, maybe it's his commitment problem, or maybe I talk too much. I'm sorry. No, I, I actually enjoyed what we were discussing. You know, uh, talking, happiness, dopamine. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I mean, it may just be a simple case of mismatched pheromones. <sighs> Sex pheromones. I read a report on pheromones and make choice. Yeah, yeah, in uh, last week's Human Biologist. Yes! I'm Kathy. What's your name? <laughs>